Hey, welcome to another episode of Uncle Ricky's House. Hey, look, we can talk about shit all day long because America, the United States, is a country that is full of shit. Political shit, social shit, cultural shit, shitty individuals, shitty situations, and just generally a lot of shit. But to be specific for the subject matter for this episode, we got to talk about the gun violence thing, not from the point of view of death, mayhem, and total fucking uh, destruction of social values and morals and the, dec- the, the decay of society in this country, because it's definitely contributing to the decay of society, but so does crime and just general violence. But gun violence in particular because there are so many factors involved. And as gun violence has re-emerged and evolved into what we see now in the 21st century in 2022 in this country, society has started to fight back. We have started to call out different aspects of gun violence for what it is and label the contributions they have made to the body count. I mean, successfully gone after gun manufacturers in civil actions. Uh, Sandy Hook did a lot of that. Sandy Hook just got Alex Jones for all of his posts about it being a false flag, which I can't even believe how he, he even dared to pull that out of his ass, much less all the pain he caused the parents of the victims of Sandy Hook. We have gone after the law a little bit because there is a big push against gun control in this country by certain individuals. Uh, But gun laws federally and, and statewide have been modified somewhat in an effort to try to basically stem the flow of blood in the streets. We have learned to call out the social conditions that contribute to the mental decay that lead a mass shooter to go out and, you know, kill two, three, six, seven, ten, twenty people with a handgun or an AR just for the fuck of it just because they feel like they can. But there's one aspect that continually appears outside of politics because a lot of politicians are saying shit to inflame their base to generate votes just like content creators say shit to generate subscriptions, likes and follows. But when you spit shit to individuals where their life revolves around where their self decided attitude towards themselves is based on the possession of a gun or a number of guns or a type of gun then you gotta realize because a gun is what it is and people are who they are that when you put shit into their head that may not be true or may not be have the priority that you claim it does that because their life is centered on a gun or because they are thinking about you know using a gun you just add the fuel to their fire and eventually we probably will hold politicians guilty especially when mass shooters leave manuscripts leave you know their manifestos connecting their acts directly to the words that you just said on tv last week or a speech you made two days ago or the political platform of your party this is just a logical progressive evolution of society because you can't keep kicking people in the head 
watching people die, innocent people die in a lot of cases, and not expect sooner or later people to fight back and try to root out the cause of the murders, of the deaths, of the sadness that they have to suffer because somebody put a gun into the wrong person's hands and somehow somebody or some organization put the wrong thoughts into that person's head. Now, one subject or one group or whatever that's really not held accountable, fully accountable, is religion. Now, the reason I say fully accountable is because everybody is hot on, you know, Islamic radicalization. But here in this country, I guess the Islamic radicalization thing is popular because we can tie it directly to an outside influence, an influence from another country, and because it's directly tied to a religion that's not Christianity. But what about Christianity? Nobody really ever talks about, not in, not in solid, let's like, you know, tie this directly to the event and call it for what it is. We can talk about Islam, we can talk about, you know, the person was this, that, a uh, Trumpster, uh, 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 you know, a liberal, uh, snowflake, but it seems like when it comes to just saying this person was a Christian and got so far out into the extreme form of Christianity and this is what made that person pull the trigger, we always stop short and usually default to mental defect. I think it's time we start taking a solid look at the influence of the Christian religion in mass killings. Well, first of all, a lot of times, especially when it's politically motivated, Christianity, extreme right-wing Christianity is involved. But we stop with the political aspect. We don't we don't talk about the religious part of it. But the recent shooting in Chesapeake, Virginia, the Walmart employee, there's a lot of factors. You know, there's, there's so far there's no politics unless you want to call what the company politics of Walmart contributed to the stress factor of the individual that did the shooting. But also, when he left his, as they call it, his manifesto, or he left his reasons for doing what he did, you have to look at the language he used about why he felt that he had failed because the people beneath him had failed because perhaps they weren't as spiritually minded as him. Perhaps they weren't as... Uh, on his level, they weren't really worth his time. It's crazy the way the killer phrased some things about, he felt like he was, he had failed his company, Walmart, but he felt like he had also come up short in his service to God, you know, because he hadn't found a wife and he was faltering in his faith and, you know, on and on. And this had to contribute to him being stressed out. And the reason I say this is because in the church, just like in society, we correlate money to success. In the church, we correlate, you know, acts of faith and the way you speak 
to your ability to be a good Christian. And we get fed this dogma, this doctrine from an early age if you got a church family because you in church, you know, from basically from day one. And for some of us, it's from day one until we close our eyes for the last time. But we base our acceptance in society on to how well the values we are taught in church work for us. Now, when we find that we believe that we are practicing all the things that we are taught in church, just like we are practicing all the best practices that are in the employee handbook on the job, and shit still gets fucked up and doesn't work. All of a sudden, we have no answer for our failure. And we struggle to put it on other things. Unfaithful employees, lazy employees, overbearing bosses, blase, blase, blase. But we never come back to the fact that maybe from the pulpit in that thing we call church somebody fed us some bullshit and because it came from the pulpit because it came from religion because it came from the people that say they are the representatives of God because it came from the people that say they are the prophets they are the link between you and Christ and you and the Father we start to figure or come to the conclusion that it's not us that it just ain't worth it because we did everything we could we 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 did we 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 did we tied it we went to church we went to prayer meeting we we went to singles meetings we we uh we did everything by the book and our life still ain't shit people can't handle that and it, it comes from the fact that a lot of people don't have their own plan. They think they have their own plan, but all they're doing is buying into the plan that's laid out for them by the church, by the job, even by their fraternity, by their family. Everything but what they want to do. And when you stay with all of this pent up in you and you are a pleaser not of self but a pleaser of everybody else you come last and when you think you have done everything the way that everybody else wants you to do which means that you should be a success not only in your own eyes but in everybody else's eyes and shit don't work out you implode I mean, all you gotta do is add a gun and the next thing you know there's two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten people dead. Usually including you because once you wake up to what you've done, you've figured out that you are the ultimate loser. And you do yourself. And it all falls back to what religion put into your head. Well that's it. Peace out. God bless. See you later at Uncle Ricky's house.